openmentor.net is my voice clear to you all people can you please raise the hands okay that's good let us uh, recapture what we have seen um, in the last class in the last class we did uh, outer join then we talked about left outer join and right outer join where you can have the common records as well as you can have records that are not matching from each of the tables in which we are join the second thing that we had seen in that is about uh, some of the functions with respect to string such as uh, substring how to handle that string values also we talked about uh, some of the numeric functions such as round ceiling and then floor that can be used with the numeric data then we talked about the theory on sp sp stands for stored procedures and uh, stored procedures are nothing but a set of lines of code which are coded in oracle syntax that program will exist within oracle database itself for example if there is a java program usually the java program may be deployed under apache tomcat or some other server and that java program in turn connects to the database and then accesses the data whereas uh, a pl sql program stays inside db itself so it is assumed to be accessing the data much faster than other programs and another thing is if people move from one platform to another platform if they are able to move the database then all the logic are already there in the database that's the fundamental aim of the stored procedures okay now what we are going to do is we start writing the stored procedures and then see uh, how to put them into the database and then how to execute them okay now let me start oracle database and by the way from openmentor.net we have uh, uploaded uh, a set of uh, programs almost like 13 uh, webinars okay 13 webinars have been uploaded into the system and you can see that on our website okay let me see why oracle is not starting let me just try once again uh, because oracle internally has a service to be started now i think that service may be let me just start the database then i will try to okay good it has been started now let me start okay Give me a second. Run SQL command line. I think instead of pressing that, uh, SQL command line, I tried to start the database service once again. That's why it was saying, again, a service means there's a background program that runs. Uh, 
which is connecting to our front end program like SQL command line. All these commands are taken to that and then that is interpreting those commands and then giving the results. That's a typical service. Now let me connect to the system. Okay, now, right now, I'm going to write a procedure. So far we have seen only databases, tables, and then within that, adding a data, modifying a data, deleting a data, updating the data. Now, I'm going to write a procedure. Let me delete these uh, lines. So it is easy to type the procedure in a notepad and then cut and paste that back to the SQL command line. The procedure always starts with the syntax like this. Create procedure. Okay. That means we are creating a procedure. I am going to give a name uh, SP1. SP1 is the name I am giving stored procedure 1. Right. Now the next second level syntax once you have given that information I say as AS indicates I am going to define the body of the procedure within that you have got a begin and then towards you have got one end okay in C program you will use a curly brace and then you will use the curly brace end over here <laughs> same like in Oracle stored procedure you have got begin and end. So if you look at this there is a line create procedure and then the procedure name a keyword called as that means following is going to be the code for that procedure. <coughs> what is the executable set of lines they are contained within begin and end. Now between this as and begin you can have all your variable declarations okay all the variable declarations will come between this as and begin between this begin and end all your lines like loops if conditions assignments exception handling everything will come inside this now I'm going to create a simple variable okay I okay I define a variable I and I'm saying it is integer <coughs> okay now I define a vari variable called integer uh, sorry i whose data type is integer within this begin I am going to initialize this variable okay as i colon equal to 0 in oracle stored procedure PLSQL to assign a variable you have to use colon equal to colon equal to in most of the other languages you will use just equal to single equal to i equal to 0 whereas here you have to say i colon equal to 0 the very first program usually I want to print something just display hello world or something like that or how are you if you want to print something in C you will use printf in Java you will say system dot out dot print ln there are a lot of syntax available same way in Oracle there is a syntax dbms underscore output dot dbms underscore output meaning it's like system dot out you are going to write it to the output file right and put underscore line so I'm going to write a line dbms underscore output put line within brackets I'm going to say within quotes hello how are you so this DBMS output put line is going to be a simple record right <laughs> it's equal to printf okay. this is the syntax of Oracle but within this whatever message you want to give you can give not an issue right now towards this okay towards the end of the procedure you need to give a slash so that this entire procedure will be ex will be stored in the in the database okay 
you have to give an end at the same time you have to give a slash this is a very simple procedure I just declared a variable I assigned the variable I am just printing a line no big deal and uh, I am just copying this right click copy now I am going to the SQL prompt and uh, paste okay edit paste I click and enter it says create procedure sp1 name is already used by an existing object that means somebody has created a procedure sp1 already okay now I want to remove that procedure okay a procedure already exists sp1 now if you want to remove that remember the command drop procedure sp1 okay now I am saying drop procedure sp1 create alter drop it is always available now already somebody might have defined that procedure sp1 so I am removing that now I am doing the paste once again okay paste that syntax now it says procedure created that means we are just the moment you submit the procedure on the SQL prompt the entire procedure has been compiled for syntax correction it is stored inside the database right right between this as and begin you are declaring any variables that you want I have declared a variable or I just assigned the variable that they have not used it okay now I have created this uh, a simple output statement okay I created the procedure it just uh, got stored inside the database but how will I run the procedure because in C program also you compile then you run or you execute so how will I execute the procedure to execute a procedure simply type exec execute right sp1 okay the moment you say execute sp1 it executes and it simply says PLSQL procedure successfully completed wait wait I have given an output it says successfully completed but where is the output it is not printing right so where does it print where is the printing going on if you want something to be printed on the command prompt right? this is SQL is the SQL prompt or the command prompt you have to set something okay there is an internally built configuration that is called set there is something called on the prompt you have to give set server output on okay if you say set server output on server output meaning the procedure is running inside the database the whatever it prints by default it will not come to the prompt only when you set the server output on again it is only one time job for every SQL prompt you do every now and then you don't have to give just once you start the SQL prompt set server output on now you see exec sp1 now you see the moment server output is set to on whatever output put line message you are giving inside the stored procedure you could see that coming out here hello how are you this is the simplest stored procedure that you have created that means type a procedure and then print something on the screen very simple syntax is this concept clear to you all can you please raise the hands good many hands do rise again Oracle PLSQL procedure is not rocket science it is yet another language it is yet another syntax all we need to do is know the syntax practice a few programs 
then after that it is only how many more lines you code how elegantly you code after that it is only coding procedures and coding process not the syntax is going to rule so learning the syntax is very simple in stored procedures right someone is asking when memory is given to variables in plsql that is immaterial how does it matter now whether it is creating at compile time always in any programming language only when it starts executing the memory is allocated right otherwise it will not allocate memory only when it starts running the memory will be allocated here okay now i want to do one step further in stored procedure sp1 i have assigned a variable i am going to write a simple loop okay a very very simple loop execute this printing for five times okay because a repetition is one of the important things that you have to uh, you will be using in most of the stored procedures in any programming language okay before that i want to give a comment if you want to give a comment right you simply type okay dash dash okay two hyphens okay if you have two hyphens that's a comment okay this is a comment okay two hyphens is a comment now i want to say write a simple loop in most of the languages there is something loop called for okay so i want to write something so if you want to write a simple loop all i need to do is for for loop always has for i equal to 1 to 10 and then do something next right here for the syntax is i have to give a variable this is same for i instead of giving i equal to 1 to 10 the syntax here is for i in okay for i in 1 dot dot say phi okay the moment you say 1 dot dot phi that means it is equal to for i equal to 1 to phi in other languages the syntax here is like that so i am going to give a definitive uh, loop which is going to execute for uh five times now either you can probably you can give a space to make it elegant this is the lower limit this is the upper limit then the syntax here is loop that means the loop starts here instead of next as in other languages here you have got something called end loop okay end loop that means this dbms underscore output this particular line is contained within this loop okay the very simplest loop structure is for loop for i in 1 dot dot phi loop that means it will set i equal to 1 first execute this then it will increment it by 1 then it will execute so five times it will execute then come out the very simplest looping structure in stored procedures now let us try to execute this whole stuff once again okay copy now now before i create this procedure once again i have to drop drop procedure sp1 because already it is existing so every time you are creating something new you are giving making some modifications in the code you have to say drop procedure now i execute this edit paste okay. now it says procedure created let me purposefully make a syntax error okay i don't want to make everything perfect right away so let us uh, simply make a syntax error over here i say n loop right because 
the best way to learn is learn by mistakes right so l let me purposefully make a mistake syntax mistake over here right now it says warning procedure created with compilation errors correct so how to find out where the error is if I say show ERR if I say from the prompt soon after compilation if I give the command show ERR it will very clearly say errors in procedure SP1 14th line 14th line that means this line 7th character 7th character following loo I see some something called loo whereas I am expecting loop right it is giving me a suggestion have you missed the P right so if you have made any syntax errors if you use the command show error first it will give the warning procedure created with compilation errors so it will give you if you say show ERR it will show which line which column is the error right now I go back to this and then I'm going to make a P loop instead of every time I am dropping the procedure and then recreating procedure I can always use another syntax create or replace procedure if I use this syntax if I simply say create procedure if the procedure is already created it will not allow me to create once again it will give me error so I have to drop it and then create whereas if I use create or replace then it will say okay if it is not there it will create if it is there it will automatically internally drop it and then recreate it so it is always better to say create or replace and then I say copy go back and then uh, paste <laughs> Now let me minimize this because it was giving some no procedure is created now let me execute this okay exec sp1 now if you see since I have given a far loop 1 to 5 it has printed 1 2 3 4 5 right so the moment you have given that it shows what all the lines that you have asked it to put in a loop it will do this is this concept create or replace clear and simple loop of far clear to you all can you please raise the hands if so okay good good right if you set the server output on then only the output will be printed if you do not uh, set the server output on you will not be able to see the output lines like this good let us move on to the next topic in stored procedures okay most of the times a stored procedure always comes with parameters right uh, if you take programming languages like C or Java anytime you have got something called a procedure it has got parameters so you have to pass parameters there are uh, two types of parameters input parameter output parameter right so which are also called passing by value and passing by reference we will see that input parameter today okay now I have given to create parameters within brackets you have to say p1 parameter 1 and then I say uh, integer then uh, parameter 2 
where care okay now I'm just passing these two parameters okay if you want to pass parameters you, within brackets you have to give the parameters but when you are doing the parameters over here unlike you are giving the length right suppose I give character usually when you are giving character for a table type you give character of 3 something like that when you are defining a parameter you are not supposed to give the length over here simply give the type of the parameter don't give the length here in many versions it gives that uh, issue of I think it may be a syntax by itself so normally we don't give the parameter length in the parameter definition over here okay now what I'm going to do is I am passing a parameter p1 which is an integer I am passing a parameter p2 which is called a character now instead of this phi I am going to pass that value okay if I give 10 10 times this line should be printed and again I am not hard coding this value hard coding meaning you are giving a value right inside the problem inside the procedure instead whatever I am passing as p2 as a character that should be printed right the moment if you write something like this right these are called input parameters okay these parameters are you can give any number of parameters and parameters can be used inside the procedure exactly like how will you do variables okay they are also treated as variables but only thing is it has to come from the function uh, procedure definition right the moment if you don't say anything this is equivalent to saying in p1 input parameter its type is integer p2 in character meaning p2 is an input parameter its data type is character you can either have in or you can have it as out right but if you don't specify anything it is treated as in in means passing by value I will explain what is passing by value slightly later so I am passing two parameters p1 and p2 p1 is an integer p2 is the character now let me copy this execute it in our uh, SQL prompt okay <coughs> so it has accepted this time I have not dropped previously the procedure was already there I did not drop the procedure since I have given create or replace it automatically dropped and then recreated that procedure now I am going to execute the procedure execute sp1 but since you have given two parameters you should also pass two parameters within brackets first parameter is 8 second parameter is open mentor okay so there are two parameters one is integer one is character right so I am giving 8 as the first parameter second parameter as a character as open mentor now if you see since I have given 8 as the p1 for the for loop that 8 is taken as the limit since I passed p2 as the string as open mentor open mentor has been printed 8 times so this is how you will pass parameters to the stored procedures input parameter meaning from the prompt or from some other stored procedure you are passing a value to that right <coughs> is this clear can you please raise the hands passing a parameter it's very simple exactly like every other programming language is using here also it is the same trick only thing is it's almost like English right parameter in meaning it is an input parameter parameter out meaning it's an output parameter right now the next